All right, in this section, we're going to cover prokaryotic photosynthesis. By early prokaryotes, ATP was made in a much simpler process than in today's photosynthesis. So for our prokaryote, we have the outside of the prokaryote or the environment, and inside the prokaryote, the biological system, we have our thylakoid membrane. And in that thylakoid membrane, we have something known as a photosystem. In prokaryotes, photosystems are embedded in a specialized infolding of the plasma membrane called a thylakoid membrane. The membrane is required to establish the proton gradient for the synthesis of ATP. Their function is to absorb and transfer light energy through the movement of electrons. The first step in this process is when sunlight, so light from the sun, excites electrons in the pigment of the system. So there's a pigment in the photosystem. We talked about that in the previous section. That pigment absorbs light from the sun, and in doing so, electrons in the pigment are excited. Electrons that re reach sufficient energy levels are then transferred from one part of the system to another. The motive force is used to transfer hydrogen ions from the environment out here to the interior of the membrane. So remember that all prokaryotic cells maintain a proton gradient across their plasma membrane and the proton motive force is a combination of a difference in proton concentrations across the membrane and the resulting electrical potential from that. And so that motive force is used to transfer hydrogen ions from outside to inside. Over time, we get a concentration gradient where we have high proton concentration inside and low, con high, low proton concentration outside in the environment. This is known as membrane potential, which is something I referenced a few slides back. It's the charge difference between this high proton concentration and low proton concentration. This is it's called an electrical potential, and it can be used to power a system. In another location of the same membrane, so here's our photosystem, in another location is an enzyme ATP synthase that takes advantage of the gradient produced, so it takes advantage of this gradient, and generates ATP. Facilitated diffusion takes over at this point, and hydrogen ions travel back through the ATP synthase. The motive force of the hydrogen ions spin the ATP synthase and it acts as a turbine. So the movement of these hydrogen ions provides this motive force which causes this ATP synthase to spin, acting as a turbine. The energy captured is then used by ATP synthase to add a phosphate group, PI, to ADP. The phosphorylation of ADP generates ATP.